Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Murphy from the Upton Town Library. Well, fall is my favorite season out of all four seasons, so I wanted to share an extra craft that you can make at home with some supplies you probably have. One of the most important things you're gonna to need today is a paper towel tube. Now you can see from this paper towel tube, I've decorated it a little bit, and I've used a brown marker. I kind of held it on my fingers while I was coloring, and I just colored all over it with a brown marker. You could paint it, you could use crayons. I like the way this looks though with the marker or even a crayon because it looks like real tree bark. So you definitely wanna have a paper towel too because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut branches from the top and we're gonna cut some roots on the bottom. And then what we'll be doing is gluing it onto a piece of cardboard. So you wanna have some kind of cardboard or thick paper to use as your base. Um, you'll need some scissors to do the cutting. You'll need a glue stick or some liquid glue. I'm going to use some glue dots today and try that. Um, those are kind of nice because they stick right away and you don't have to worry about drying time. And I'm going to use these pretend leaves that I got from the dollar store. This is a great time of year to look for these. For a dollar, you can get out a whole package and you can do lots of crafts with these. But if you don't have those or access to those, I'm going to give you some templates of leaves in the description some pictures of maple leaves, um, oak leaves, I think, and just some plain rounded leaves. They almost look like, I think, birch leaves. I'm not sure, but I'll give you some links to templates. So if you wanna print out your own leaves and make them, you can. You can print them on colored paper or you can color them. And then all you'll have to do is cut them out. So you use whatever you have in this situation. So I'm going to um, pause the video, change my screen so we can get started together. The first thing you want to make sure you do is to color your paper towel so it looks like a tree trunk. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut four small cuts at the bottom, maybe about an inch or two. I'm just going to do opposite sides. And these will be the ones we fold out to make the base of our tree. Okay. So that is what we're going to glue onto the paper. Now for today, I'm just gonna use scotch tape so that you can see how it's gonna look. But at home, you can use scotch tape. You can just put glue on the back of this and push it down to let it dry. We're also going to cut a bunch of branches at the top the exact same way, but longer. So let's take a look at how that will be. We'll do maybe one to start. So you can see how it's gonna look, okay? And that way you'll be able to curve them and make the branches of your tree. Okay, so I'm going to pause while I do more of those. I have all my branches cut, as you can see, just all different lengths and thicknesses. So it looks like a real tree. I'm going to add just a little bit of color with my marker on the insides so that they look the same. And these are going to have the leaves attached too, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little bit of color. You can always use it, um, maybe a toilet paper tube and glue on extra branches. So there's like limbs, whatever you like. All right. Now we will tape this onto our cardboard. Again, you can glue this at home, but I'm just going to tape it for today. And what you can do later on is add more leaves around the base and decorate this as if it were a yard. Make little piles of leaves. Turn around. All right, and here is our tree ready to attach the leaves. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. There we go. So we've got our bag of leaves here, all different sizes and colors. It's a lot of fun. So if you've never worked with glue dots, they're very hard to see. They're clear, obviously. And you'll take a glue dot on your finger. You can see that. That little shiny spot on the top. We'll take a leaf and stick it on a branch. And there you go. So what we'll do is we'll continue 
filling all the branches with the glue dots and the leaves. Red one. Here. All right, so I'm gonna keep filling up my tree and we'll see what the tree looks like when it's done. So here's what our finished tree looks like. You can see I added lots of colorful leaves. The glue dots really worked really well. Um, I added some on the undersides as well because leaves grow on all sides of the branches. And I added a couple leaves at the bottom and just added some colors with my markers to make it look like leaves on the ground. So super simple craft to make. Um, makes a really nice table decoration, something great for fall. And you could make a whole bunch of these with your kids and put together a whole forest of trees. So enjoy and happy fall.